I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will find the integral of a trigonometric function. Most of the time, when trigonometric functions are given to us, we should try to simplify them using the identities which we have learned. The question here is, find integral 4 sin x cos x dx. We could rewrite this as uh, integral of, you remember the formula, 2 sin x cos x equals to sine 2x, right? So that's the formula which we want to apply. So I can always write this as 2 times 2 sine x cos x dx, right? So which is, we can take the constant 2 outside, the integral sign, the properties of integration, and this is sine 2x dx, right? Now, we can always integrate this with substitution. So if I substitute u equals to 2x, then du will be equals to 2 dx, right? So, well, I could have written this 2 with 2 dx. So let me rewrite this. Okay, so we, what we get here is we get sine 2x, 2 dx, right? So we could write like this. And now I substitute u for sine 2x and 2 dx as du, right? So that is how we could write. And so you can see how simple it is. I mean, I mean, sorry, sine, sine u, I'm sorry. Uh, sine, sine u, because 2x is, 2x is u, right? So it is sine, sine u, du. Okay, let me rewrite this. So we get integral of sine u, du. Now, integral of sine u is, is cos u with a negative sign. Derivative is positive, but the integral of sine is negative. So that is what you get plus c. And now you can replace u with 2x. So what you get here is minus cos 2x plus c, right? So that is how you solve such questions. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you.